So when we look at gravidity and parity, this is helpful to know how many pregnancies and how many deliveries that we've had. But in order to really understand the full obstetric history of a woman, we need to break it down further. So we're going to, that's where GTPAL comes in. So we're going to look first at the G is gravida, the number of pregnancies. This stays the same. But the rest of it is going to fall under the umbrella of parity. Okay. So when we look at this umbrella of parity, we're going to look at how many term deliveries has she had? Term deliveries are going to be any deliveries that happened after 37 weeks gestation. How many preterm deliveries has she had? Preterm deliveries are going to be from 20 weeks up to 36 weeks and six days. So these two make up our parity, but in this umbrella, we're also going to consider the other parts of her obstetric history. So how many abortions has she had? And this can be spontaneous abortions, like a miscarriage. This can be a termination. Any pregnancy that ends less than 20 weeks is called an abortion. And then we also look at how many children she has currently living. And this is what makes up our GTPAL. Now, when you see this written out, most often you'll see it written a couple different ways. You'll either see it this way. So here we have G4, T2, P1, A1, L3. This means that this is um, a patient who's had four pregnancies, two term deliveries, one preterm delivery, one abortion, and has three living children currently. We may also see it written this way. And when it's written this way, the G stands for gravida, and this P stands for parity, not for preterm. Okay, this is parity, this is our umbrella. So this is the same as this. This is for pre fourth pregnancy, two term, one preterm, one abortion, and one living. So when you see it written this way, then in your head, think C P A L. She's a gravita four para two one one three.